What's going on guys? I am back with another video and it's September. So that only means one thing. Forty finals. Um so as you can probably sell sell or tell. You can do either one if you want. Um I'm doing the AFL. I will be doing rugby league as well. So calm down everyone. Um so yeah, so this is gonna be my the AFL finals week one predictions. Uh Hopefully I'm right with most of it. If not, I suck, obviously. And so, let's get into it. This is what the ladder ended up looking like. At first, Fremantle Dockers. Eh. Second, West Coast Eagles. Eh. Third, Hawthorne Hawks. Uh, Sydney Swans at fourth. Uh, ah, Richmond Tigers. Eh. That's surprisingly at fifth there, yeah. Are the Western Bulldogs, and we'll get back. We'll, get, we'll talk something about that later. The Adelaide Crows and North Melbourne Kangaroos. So that is your top eight right there. Some of them, yeah, pretty convincing that they're there. Probably two, two of them are high up than I thought they would be. So yeah. Look, look. Let's just see. Let's let's get into the round games. Qualifying rounds are on the Friday, this Friday night. Um, West Coast versus Hawks in Perth. So West Coast have the have the home ground advantage, but that shouldn't worry the Hawks at all. Um, I mean, if they lose, they got to play next week. If not, they go to play another two weeks, week before the grand final. Um, so, it's going to be hard if, Haw if the, Haw Haw uh, the Hawks are on fire, they should win, but yeah, I guess the only way West Coast win is really only due to it being home ground, and everyone, they, everyone reckons home ground advantage is nothing, but it's everything, considering where the teams are in AFL, like Perth. Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney, Adelaide. If you don't know Australia, then there are just some of your places, major cities. Dang, that's all. Yeah, my phone went off. Saturday. Oh, so, oh yeah, so West Coast and Hawks, that was second versus third. I reckon that would be a good game. That would be a really good game. On the Saturday, it, this is first versus fourth. The Free Man of Dockers and Sydney Swans at again so this time Fremantle should they, sh they should um, dismantle the Swans there I mean I'm not a huge fan of the Swans so I hope they kind of get knocked out pretty quick so so I hope that happens um, so yeah that's some purse that's first versus fourth hopefully Frio wins I'm praying they do um, I think there is some injury concerns. I'm uh, not totally sure. To the elimination finals. On Saturday, 6th versus 7th, the Western Bulldogs versus the Adelaide Crows. By the way Crows have been gone the past few weeks, I would have to say the Crows win. They've, they've got a lot to play for. Um, everyone knows the sad story. Hopefully, um, hopefully knows the sad story. Because uh, it affected the whole AFL community that the, the late Phil Walsh Sadly passed passed away early in the season. The uh, LA Crows coach. So the Crows will, are looking to hopefully win. Um, I'm hoping they win because they are a good side. And that's at the MCG. So the Bulldogs. Car going past. If you could hear me over that. So yeah, Bulldogs MCG. I don't think that should trouble the Crows at all. It, yeah, home ground advantage. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But when it comes to finals, it, it would mean a lot. See, if, if it was at the if it Crows finished sixth or fifth, and they got a home ground game, and they would have been playing at in Adelaide, that would have been a lot that home ground advantage because the crowd there is just insane. If you watch it on TV, they're awesome, rowdy, love the atmosphere. It, I've never been there. I would like to go there, but. 
We'll see. Is that Postman Pat? Sunday, 5th versus 8th. So this is the Richmond Tigers versus North Melbourne Kangaroos. Two of my least favourite teams playing, but I am hoping for Richmond to win, considering that they choke every year in finals. Sorry, Richmond fans. I'm not the only one that thinks that. Um, they're, they're a great side. I just really don't want to see North continue on. So I'm, ho I'm hoping Richmond Richmond wins there. My underdog for the, these these finals would have to be definitely the Adelaide Crows. They've got a lot of talent in that team, and if they stay injury free with their key players, or hopefully all their players, you should see them. Getting close to the grand finals. Um, I don't think they will make it the grand final if they do pass this week. Because uh, that top four is very, very hard in its, in its own respectable right. So it's, it's questionable. Really questionable. Um, but my surprise, surprise team for the final series, if they continue, it would be the Western Bulldogs. If they manage to get over the Crows... Um, they got a lot of talent. It's done really well with the team, so hopefully they produce their goods in the best of the Crows on Saturday. So yeah, that's my week one for, um, finals. I will be posting the teams, um, all that on Friday. I haven't checked to see if they've put up the team announcements yet. When that is done, I will post it on my site, which will be down below. Um, of players, injuries, if my mind's changed at all. So this this is this is a rough a rough idea of who I think will win. Once I really get to see how what the team's looking like, um, probably will stay the same. Definitely the. The top two will stay the same. Uh, the Hawks winning and then Fremantle um, winning. But just really concerns about the, the last four teams, really. Um, I know the Swans giving out uh, Lance Franklin. Um, overrated player, in my opinion. But nonetheless, he is a good player. He's got freakish left foot down in that left, left boundary. But other than that, it shouldn't really change um, once I see the teams... Maybe, but I know. When that comes, we will see. That is it for the AFL Week 1 Finals predictions. Uh, if you agree with me, then we think alike, maybe. But if you don't, we'll see who, come, who is the better person. Um, but if not, I will see you next week with AFL Finals Week 2. Everyone do it. Two. Or NFL.